A second domain of, of the research concerned the role of institutionalization of cultural memory in museums, galleries, and libraries in defining, building national identity in historical and contemporary perspectives. We know that the peculiarities of museums and libraries in the organization of collections and in contents established over the centuries is a prerequisite to define their possible evolution and adjustment to fulfill new demands and needs in contemporary age of migrations. We recognize that the history of museums and libraries is a typically old Westerner, like the history of science and technology. And as such, it is reflected in concepts that are well established since the birth of scientific industrial revolution. Progress, universalism, positivism, the dualism be between culture and civilization. In particular, museums and libraries have always had a special role in establishing the values of the public sphere that has changed from the aristocratic society first, the nationalistic middle class later, and the contemporary mass society today, a condition that is progressively more recognizable in the cultural as well as ethnic melting pot we see all, uh, as process going on in these year, years. But uh, as it happens for the majority of the expressions of contemporary society, museums does not represent any more a unitary and monolithic reality. The museum field has actually changed its paradigms and its functionalities. As Jan Petersen says, uh, national identity was constructed in history museums and national art galleries and military and war museums. Imperial identities were produced in colonial and ethnographic museums and displays, while modern identities have been staged in world exhibitions, science, and modern art museums. Today's museum system is articulated, a real mirror of contemporary societies, pluralistic and with a multiplicity of expressions. Museum, museum today stops being a local phenomenon and becomes a worldwide phenomenon with related culture crisscrossing and interferences with other culture, cultural institutions and activities. The increasing importance in the world, especially in Europe and the United States, of the market of culture, travel, itinerancy among places and knowledge, study and research has led to a proliferation of museums. ICOM says that today in the world there are about 55 thousands museums in 202 countries. There were 35,000 in uh, 1990. The growth is uh, 63%. Um, a proliferation of museums uh, and uh, the sharpening of the problem of memory and it, its preservation so that we can talk today of musealization of nearly every phenomenon of humanity as Victoria Newhouse envisioned already in 1988. In a way that breaks consolidated, ter breaks consolidated terms of classification among different kinds of museums. Third important domain of the research concern museums and libraries, libraries missions, curatorial practice, exhibition, and museum design. Starting from the most important institutional transformation of the museum apparatus in recent times, the one that, the one that sees museums having changed their natural nature of a privileged place of conserving to a new powerful medium of social communication, or as it, uh, as it has been defined, new media or meaning maker or storyteller, and at the same time, the concept of museum as a collective place has become increasingly consolidated in a context like the current one, where museum, the museum forms an articulated dimension of social leisure and enjoyment. No more reformatory of manners or place of civilizing rituals. Museum values have shifted from moral lessons to entertainment and mass use. As uh, Duncan Cameron uh, said many years ago, used the term museum forum instead of museum temple. 
multilayered society has shattered the concept of public, but also, I think, that of publics, as we used to, to say today. Today, probably, we have uh, only visitors, single personalities, one different from the other, with their own identities and interests, aesthetic dim dimensions and cognitive dimension in interpreting museum exhibitions, as it happens, for example, in choosing books when we are in libraries. Every visitor is itself a public that sees the museum or their exhibition differently from the other. This inevitably reflects in the concept, design, and organization of museum displays. Cultural studies and social studies and museum studies have produced a large amount of important reflections about the topics we are briefly outlining here. You can see some keywords uh, taken from the museum studies. But uh, we may ask, how all the theoretical studies have influenced how, how, how and how much theoretical studies have influenced the practice of curatorship and design of exhibitions or the typology and architecture of museums. One of the crucial points of the, uh, the survey of Mela research is to evaluate how much such social, cultural, and theoretical changes will interfere with the physical structures of exhibition places and their architecture. We know that libraries and museums differ in the modes of access and use of this heritage and in the way of transmission, communication of the knowledge that belongs either to the library collection of books and documents or to the museum's collection of artifacts. The cultural fruition of library and heritage is, heritages is more, heritage, sorry, is more markedly related to individual research, a personal construction of a survey. Computerization and digitalization can ensure the access from every part of the world to the context of these documents, but not to be in contact with the real objects. So as to say, are books st uh, still interesting as objects? Are they objects to put also in display? They worth to, put, to, put, uh, to be put on display? Well, actually, libraries in their process of accumulating and conserving books are a peculiar genre of museum. And some of them uh, became or are becoming really real museums of books. Uh, for example, displaying, displaying books in galleries, organizing temporary exhibition, or just like real mu book library museums. Two museums dedicated to book culture and literature have recently grown up as a new significant cultural phenomenon that links the two institutions. Different in, museum, in museums, exhibitions belong to the very discourse that the institution enunciates to visitors. Beyond the possibilities offered by virtual exhibitions or internet, in museums, displays, and in temporary exhibitions, the presence of the real thing is an ineludible part of their mission and organization. In museums, knowledge is materialized in the artifacts that are on show, on display. The so-called rhetoric of exhibi exhibiting or rhetoric of exhibitions is a vital component of the identity of the museum institution. The crucial terms are experience and interpretation as the modes of appropriation of knowledge by the visitor confronting with real things. Mela, Mela intends, through uh, research by design, evaluate the operational effectiveness of the overmentioned theoretical reflections and their application on museums, architecture, and exhibition design practice. For example, physical Fragmentation of exhibition spaces and architecture scattered, diffused through cities, territories, and nations is a trend going on. Similarly, is the ongoing functionality, functional hybridity between libraries, museums, art galleries, Kunsthallen, cultural centers. Uh, a university too, uh, for example, in, uh, in this image you see the Lidois uh, uh, Crown Hall, that's a, a school of architecture, uh, 
during summer is closed as school, it's open for uh, temporary exhibitions.